Yeah. Toss and wood fire food truck will be in the ESM sports parking lot from 3 to 6.30 on Thursday. In case you're looking to justify eating out, it's a fundraiser. Support in the class of 2023. Pre-order uh, time will uh, link. The link will go live this Thursday, uh, Tuesday. Thank you from the class of 2023. Good morning everyone, I'm Grayson. And I'm Casey. Uh, so today we're talking about something. It's May the 4th and happy be with you. It's about Star Wars, the $4 billion investment from Disney. And now on to our top stories with Bella. The Doobie Brothers have rescheduled most of their 2022 tour dates, including the one in Syracuse. The Chicago Singers were originally scheduled to visit the amphitheater for the 50th anniversary of the band's formation. However, this was delayed due to COVID and is now being delayed another year. In Mexico City, the elevated section of a metro collapsed and sent a subway car smashing into a busy boulevard, killing at least 23 people and injuring 70. Rescuers searched for trapped people in the subway, but the search was concluded on Tuesday. This was one of the most deadly accidents in the city's subway system. The FDA is expected to authorize Pfizer's BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccine for adolescents by early next week, making it the first COVID vaccine authorized for adolescents in the US. This will allow many American middle and high school students to be vaccinated well before the start of next school year. Pfizer claims the shot demonstrated 100% efficacy in children as young as 12 with side effects similar to those in young adults. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For the prop department using the special effects. Oh, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. So, talking about Star Wars today. And we have some facts about that that actually are really interesting. Starting off, we have that our prop department actually, they had a very low special effect budget and for New Hope. And the costumes weren't very large. So, like for Luke Skywalker, his pants were bleached what, Levi's with the back pockets ripped off. And speaking of pants, C-3PO did not wear his suit pants when he needed to sit. The costume did not allow him to bend. C-3PO? Right. Um, have you watched any of the Star Wars films? Mm, possibly not. All right then. Um, all right, continuing on, um, staying with C-3PO, according to them, it's involved with the movie. The droid actually was, had a feud, and in real life actor who was playing R2-D2 and C-3PO did not like each other. And now, onto weather. Today we'll have a high of 70 with scattered showers. Thursday and Monday we'll have some sun, but unfortunately the rest of the week is going to be raining with highs in the upper 50s. I'm Gabby with your weather. And we have a new segment, which is uh, Random Facts with Michael Rich. We hope you enjoy it. Hi, welcome to a solid minute of Pointless Facts with Michael Rich. Our first fact comes from the famous Steamboat Willie cartoon, which is actually not the first animation with sound. That title goes to Max Fleischer, the first edition of the famous Follow the Bouncing Ball animation. It's a whole four years prior. Our next fact is from the original Star Wars trilogy with the famous quote, Luke, I am your father. That's a joke, he never actually said that. If you listen back to the original, he never actually said Luke. I am your father. He only said, I am your father. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. 
for our final fact, in 1972, engineers at Pixar Animation created the first 3D animation of a moving hand, or just animation in general. Well, thank you for tuning into this segment with me. Goodbye. Boys baseball team lost 4-6 to six against Auburn yesterday. Nick Rosamelia had the biggest hit of the night, driving in two runs. Both the orange and blue girls golf teams beat Oswego yesterday. With a win against the Grizzlies last night, the New York Knicks have clinched their first winning season since 2013. The Golden State Warriors beat the New Orleans Pelicans 123-108. to Steph Curry had 41 points in the victory and shot 8 of 18 from 3. And upcoming games, and there's a lot, so get ready. The boys' tennis team has a game at Auburn. Girls' varsity softball has a game at Central Square. Girls' varsity lacrosse has a game at Cortland. And the boys' lacrosse team has a game against Cortland. On Wednesday, <laughs> the boys' and girls' track teams have a meet at 5 against Auburn at home. The girls' softball team has a game at Syracuse City. The boys' baseball team has a game at Auburn. And boys' wrestling has their first match at home against Syracuse City. And I'm John, with your sports. I think that covers it for today. I still mm -hmm. can't believe you don't know anything about Star Wars. Well, I'm just red stick here. That should mean something, but... Ah, uh, we'll figure that out. Yeah. And from me, Casey, and everyone here at the morning show, we hope you have a good day. <laughs>